Okay, now I want to look at um, a thematic portal. And this time we're looking at OBIS, which is the Ocean Biogeographic Information System. Um, is anybody familiar with OBIS? Nobody? Okay, I'll tell you a little bit, a little bit about OBIS. Um, OBIS is a, an alliance of, of people and organ, organizations sharing a vision to make global marine biogeographic data freely available. It was originally um, created as the data integration component of the Census of Marine Life, which was a 10-year program which finished up um, a couple of years ago. And now OBIS has now moved and it's now a program of, of IOC's IODE program. So it is part of the IODE now. So OBIS is the world's largest open access online data system on the diversity, distribution and abundance of marine species. So there's around about 115,000 marine species described in OBIS, 38 million records, more than 1,400 data sets and 450 data providers from 56 countries. So it's, it's certainly a global data set with contributions from, from around the world. So this is a list of some of the benefits of contributing your data to OBIS. First of all, um, OBIS provides a wealth of data for the use in the understanding of species and their ecosystems monitoring, evaluating and forecasting change in the ocean. OBIS data sets facilitate integration of marine biodiversity da data within an international and national framework of data standards and protocols. Um, the temporal coverage, geographic coverage, taxonomic coverage um, is extensive. OBIS provides for data for understanding species and ecosystems as well as monitoring evaluating and forecasting change in the oceans. OBIS enables scientists to study biodiversity at both the national and global scales and this facilitates research in areas which are best examined within the context of global biodiversity changes. OBIS also uh, provides a highly visible international ocean science project and provides increased global visibility to bi regional bio biodiversity research. So OBIS is made up of a series of regional nodes. They call them um, a regional OBIS nodes or RONs. Um, so these are the regional nodes. You can see there's one for the Caribbean. Um, it's hosted out of the University of Simon Bolivar and the University uh, in Venezuela. But there's, there's OBIS nodes all around the world and, and these regional OBIS nodes are responsible for managing the data for particular regions. There's one in the US, OBIS USA. So there's, there's a lot of these OBIS nodes. There's an OBIS data portal. Now this portal allows you to search for marine species um, from across anywhere in the global ocean. But as well as searching for marine species, it also allows you to search on um, some observational data which is associated with that. For example, you can select um, search on bottom depth, temperature, salinity, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphate, silicate. Um, and you can also visualize the output using time series graphs, histograms, etc. So this is how, how the uh, OBIS portal works. For, this is the first example here where we're doing a search on um, cetacean species observed in a LME, large marine ecosystem region of the Celtic Biscay Shelf. Now this is, these are the results that you come up with when you're doing that search. But you can refine that search. For example, you're not only looking for that particular species in that area, but you also want to know um, that where the temperature range is 13 to 15 degrees and you can see what the results are. So obviously the, the water temperature around Scotland's a lot 
colder, so you wouldn't expect to find anything that meets that criteria there. But that's a, an, an interesting um, aspect of this portal that you can also search for physical and, and chemical attributes of the ocean as well as the species. Now this is just an example search. Um, I won't, I'm not going to go through that completely here, but there is a um, online video that we can watch. I think it only takes a couple of minutes. So I might just, because we're going to do an exercise on this of, of using the Obus portal to, to look for some data. Um, so just, we'll have a look at this. Maybe we won't look at it. Oh, here we go. Yes, it's working. So I should probably go back. Okay, we'll just watch this for a minute, a couple of minutes, I should say. Um, this is just a little video that shows you how to use the Obus portal. Just a, a brief introduction 
So you're going to actually do a, an exercise having a look at this shortly. So OBIS has a data policy. Um, the data policy is based on the principles of timely, free and unrestricted access to biodiversity data for the benefits of science and society. Um, unless data are collected through activities funded by the IOC, uh, this is just a caveat they put on here about um, they take no responsibility for the quality of the data because OBIS is a portal, they're getting data from a number, number of institutions, organisations around the world. So they're not, um, they're just putting a caveat on here saying that they're not responsible for the quality of the data or products that's um, within OBIS. Um, the, the data providers retain all rights and responsibilities associated with the data they make available to OBIS. Um, OBIS nodes warrant that they have made the necessary agreements with the original data providers so that it can be made available. And OBIS data is licensed under the Creative Commons, um, either CCO, CCBY or CCBYNC, with CCO being the preferred license. Now remember we talked about uh, C Creative Commons licenses the other day. I'll just quickly go over that again. CCO is what they call no rights reserved. In other words, um, the scientist or the owner of the copyright waives all interest in their works. In other words, they place it in the public domain. So there's basically anyone can copy, modify, distribute, sell, whatever they like without permission. In other words, there's no basically no rights reserved is what they call it, it's in the public domain. Whereas CCBY is the, the attribution license, remember we talked about this, it's probably the most accommodating of the, all the licenses and it's recommended for maximum dissemination and use of, of data. So under this license uh, you're free to share, copy and redistribute the material and you're free to adapt, remix, transform, build upon, even for commercial purposes. And the other, the other license that they use is the attribution non-commercial, which is the same as BY. However, you cannot um, uh, make it available commercially. So they're the three types of licenses that OBIS uses. Um, so the data providers, to OBIS are responsible for the completeness of the data and the metadata as well. And when data is made available to OBIS, OBIS is granting, uh, uh, grants permission to distribute the data via its uh, portal, the obis.org, build an integrated database, use the data for quality control purposes, complement the data with other data such as climate variables, and serve the data to other similar open access networks such as GBIF. So this is their data sharing policy. 